welcome to the next tutorial about the Core Kronos workstation. Today we're going to program our own drum pattern for drum track we can use and a combination like you heard in the intro. So as an example we try to program in the air tonight this strange pattern from Phil Collins that goes through the song. It's quite easy but if you listen to it it's a little strange. All right, so let's start programming that drum pattern. Okay, so first have a look how this pattern is built. So I found in the internet this page called 808pixel.de. You find the link in the description of the video as well. And there you see we have a lot of classic drum machine patterns and here we go for Phil Collins in the air tonight. And this is a pretty good pattern. I can just start it. Let's take this pattern for the Kronos. We got all the beats in here. So that's the first measure and that's the second measure. Originally, this pattern was played on a CR78 uh, of Roland. We got this 808 drum machine sound and we can use it as well. It's pretty good. So first, go to Sequencer. We got this new song and let's first choose the right drum machine. So we go to Drums, Dance Drums and there we find this 808 kit over here. That's pretty close to the CR78. Now we can play it. So for the open hi-hat we, we take the A sharp 3. It's that one. The closed hi-hat is over here. That's our snare drum. This is the high tom. And over here is the bass drum. That sounds pretty close to the original. Now we go to Pattern RPPR. Go to Pattern Name and we name it in the air. Okay. So now we go to Pattern parameters and we need two measures. Now we can start with a step recording. We need eight notes over there. Now we go through this pattern from the internet. First we have the hi-hat. Then on one end we have the closed hi-hat and the tom. Then nothing on, the, on two. And then this one again. Nothing on three. And then the bass drum and the closed hi-hat again. After that we have the open hi-hat and the snare. And then the closed hi-hat again. Okay, second pattern. We start with the bass drum and the open hi-hat. Then we have the bass drum, the closed hi-hat and the tom. On two we just have the bass drum. Then we have the bass drum, the closed hi-hat and the tom as well. Then the bass drum, the bass drum and the closed hi-hat. And then the snare drum and the open hi-hat on four. And the bass drum and the closed hi-hat on four and. Okay. So that's our pattern. Now we're gonna edit the velocities of our notes. So we go to 
event added. Okay. Let's leave the open hi-hat at 64. Velocity of that one is 100. 100. The four has an accent. Let's open high it a little less. We have an accent. Let's say it's eighty, and for the accent on the snare drum, take the full velocity on four, and then. 100 over there. The original speed was around about 96. So let's change the speed of this song to 96. And do this event edit again. We can now listen to it. That's it. Okay, so that's our pattern. Now we have to export this pattern to a drum track. So we say convert to drum track pattern. Now we choose a free slot. Let's use the number 16, that's unused. Notes only, all right. Okay. Export it. So now we build a combination with this synthesizer sound and this drum track. So we got this empty combination. Just mute. All of this. Go to the ground channel and let's say that this pad starts at C sharp so we can use the C to start the pattern. So let's first choose the synthesizer. Even pretty close to the original sound is this slow synthesizer called Vintage 80 Warm Saw. Now let's choose a drum track for that. So we need this AOA kit again. And to start this trigger zone deepest C. Now we have to choose the pattern. It's a user pattern where we saved it. And here we go. It's number 16 in the air. And then we have to put on the latch so that I just have to start it. And after that I can play the keyboard. We have the MIDI channel 2. So let's go into timbre parameters. Let's go to MIDI and say that's the second channel for the drums. And we have to adjust the tempo again to 96. So now I activate the drum track and start it with the deepest C. Okay, hope you had fun and learned how to program this drum track pattern. Thanks for watching.
See you soon for the next tutorial. Bye bye.